you ever wonder why those road tubes are stretched across the highway? Hi, I'm Joel Koloski of the Field Operations Study Unit for the Michigan Department of Transportation. When the weather warms up, MDOT, County Road Commissions, and other traffic and safety crews put out equipment that collects traffic data. You'll usually see these in place from April through November. Traffic information is collected on Michigan public roads in part to meet federal mandates. For MDOT, we typically use three and six year cycles to update the traffic data. These road tubes or hoses are connected to traffic counters, which totals the number of axles that cross these hoses. This information lets MDOT know how many vehicles travel a certain roadway each day and what kind of vehicles they are, from a car or a motorcycle to a semi or a bus. There are other technologies too, like pole mounted radar sensors, cameras counting the number of vehicles, and sensors that are buried in the road. The information from this equipment helps MDOT officials identify potential future roadway projects. MDOT is required to report traffic information on all roads open to the public travel to the Federal Highway Administration. This reporting includes federal, state, county, city, and toll facilities like the Mackinac Bridge. Each state is required to annually furnish all data for reporting requirements on the Highway Performance Management Monitoring System, or HPMS. These counters are just one of the ways MDOT and other transportation agencies are using technology to better understand how roads are being used. It also is one of many ways MDOT collects data to help us manage our important assets and investments. To learn more about MDOT traffic information, please visit these websites.